Listening to Brandy Carlisle this morning as we talk about the Fillmore Music Venue. It's one month away, mm -hmm. if you can believe that, from opening in Minneapolis's North Loop. The 36,000 square foot space is the latest Fillmore ready to open. And as I found out, the space here connects us with the past. Welcome to the Fillmore, Minneapolis. It's our first peek inside Minneapolis's newest stage for concerts. At its soul, it's a live music venue, right? So we've got an 1,850 capacity club, two levels. It's designed to be a special space that keeps the sound in the room to give concert goers and artists an unforgettable experience. You see the beautiful chandeliers and the red velvet curtains on the side of the room. Those are all things that Bill Graham, the founder, started with and we carry forward today. At its core, the Fillmore is rich with history. The original opened in the early 1900s. It connects the past to the present. The Fillmore in San Francisco was this amazing, you know, legendary club in the 60s and 70s where, you know, history was made with the Rolling Stones and Santana and the Grateful Dead and Janis Joplin. There was this movement of people coming together and the Fillmore was like the, the epicenter of it. And so we carry that forward to all the new Fillmores. Minneapolis is number nine, brought here because of the city's support of great live music. Walk upstairs and you'll see a mural in honor of Prince. An homage is paid to more Minnesota musicians. So we're going into BG's Lounge, which is uh, a VIP room at the Fillmore Minneapolis. We pay tribute to some of the great artists that have played at Fillmore's, uh, but are from this area. So you got Lizzo and Bob Dylan and the replacements. Uh, we've got a wall dedicated to Bill Graham. The venue takes you on a trip down memory lane, but with modern upgrades. We want them to feel like it's a place that they can call a second home and, and they go see music and they're comfortable. So this was really neat to check out because, you know, we heard about it. There was a lot of buzz yeah. around it. It's cool to go inside and see what they actually did yeah. with the space. That neighborhood is, well, I mean, it needs things like this because what was sort of just an empty part of the city is now starting to really grow up and come into its own. Yeah, it's right behind kind of the main strip of the North Loop and by Target Field. So and near the light rail, too. Right, you got a lot, right. a lot right there. The Fillmore officially opens on February 12th with Brandy Carlisle. All three of her shows are already sold out, but there are plenty of shows on sale after that. And there's a job fair today from 10 until 2 for a range of positions. You can apply online before or just show up with your resume at the Fillmore. It's on North 5th Street in Minneapolis. More details on the job fair and concert is posted at WCCO.com slash links. And they also have um, a restaurant connected, Tracks okay. Burgers. So they're hiring positions for that too. And that will open in early February. Fun. So Thanks for giving us a preview. Area. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay.